Time now for an experiment with the imagination station. Sarah Gulch is here to talk about fumes. Yeah. Cool, Sarah. So um, I'm going to have you start by rolling up your right sleeve and putting okay. your safety glasses on. Um, so today we're going to talk about fumes and vapors and kind of how to be safe this summer because a lot of people are out grilling, doing home improvements, so you're bound to run into some type of flammable vapors. Right. Okay, now obviously those vapors are invisible, so we kind of forget that they're there. All right, so what we're going to start out with is talking about vapors that are actually lighter than air. All right, so go ahead and dip your hand in this big giant beaker. Now this is water. Yep, and go all the way up to about your wrist or so. Anywhere you want to keep hair on your arm. Oh, okay. Good tip. <laughs> and uh, what I'm going to do is while you kind of get your hand ready, I'm actually going to blow some bubbles in this water solution. Um, and these are actually methane bubbles. Now methane is the same stuff that you might have in a gas stove at home. And it is lighter than air. So what we're going to do is fill these bubbles. And I think that looks like a pretty good amount. And I want you to actually scoop those up in your hand. All right, we're going to throw that out of the way. We don't need it anymore. You're going to hold your hand straight out in front of you. One, two, three. We're going to light Ooh. them on fire. <laughs> Pretty cool, Pretty right? Pretty cool. Yeah, now I'll give you a hand so you can dry your hand off. And uh, like I said, methane is lighter than gas, so you could see how quickly those flames went up and they traveled upward toward the ceiling. <laughs> now, because I had the water, I mean, it, it got hot maybe for a split second, but it, it didn't hurt at all. Because Is it because I had the water on my hand? Yeah, it actually served two purposes. Kind of? It helps uh, put kind of a protective layer on your hand, but also bubbles don't like dry or dirt. Right. So it was in a way for you to scoop up those bubbles safely. Gotcha. So that is um, an example of something, a uh, type of vapor that would be lighter than air. But we also have to think about those that are heavier than air. Now, these are both things that firefighters have to think about constantly. Um, in their line of work, mm -hmm. okay? So in this container, you can see there's actually a very, very small amount of liquid. You barely right. see it. And what I have in here is hexanes, and hexanes are actually heavier than air. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour the vapors from here into our beaker. So I've got a candle in there. I'm gonna pop the top off, and uh, I'm gonna hold on to this. Now, none of that liquid is going to escape down. Just the vapors are gonna tumble out, and because they're heavy, they're actually gonna fall into the beaker. Now, let's go, oh, <laughs> that was happening. And again, the, the idea of fumes right. is we can't visibly see what right. is going on, but. Uh, so it was kind of a waiting game for us, right? And you can see that actually the inside is still burning just a little bit from uh -huh. those vapors. So I'm actually gonna take my stopper. I'm going to drop that on top and snuff out those vapors by taking away the oxygen. Okay. Okay. So another example of this might be something that happens in your garage. So let's say that you're out filling up your lawnmower and you accidentally spill a little bit of gasoline. Our immediate reaction is to go for the puddle and try and clean it up. Right. But we forget about those vapors that are also heavier than air and those are kind of tumbling around on the floor. So to kind of show you what that would look like, um, we have a pilot light or a grill kind of hanging out right down here at the end of our ramp. This is you up here in your garage, mm -hmm. and uh, you accidentally spill even the smallest amount of some type of flammable liquid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you take one step over to your left. Nope, to you're in the, left. there you go. You want to be in the safety zone. Oh, oh, the safety zone. <laughs> yeah, so what right. I'm going to do is I'm going to pour that liquid on our ramp. And as you can see, there was only enough to maybe go about halfway down yeah. our ramp. But now those heavy vapors are going to go the rest of the way. <laughs> You can see that we kind of had this backflash because those vapors caught fire at the bottom. They rolled back up, and actually we had a pretty detrimental situation at the top. Explosive. Yeah, so we kind of need to be careful about that. Now I did bring my fire extinguisher. All right, so we'll put this out. We'll get this little guy. There we go. You have all the cool <laughs> jobs. <laughs> I mean, it's I'm pretty so cool to talk right about now. vapor safety. It is. Uh, <laughs> you guys do all these science experiments. You do them safe, uh, safely. Safety is always in mind. What's Definitely. going on at the Imagination Station as summer continues? Yeah, we're actually getting ready to start Rocket Week next week. So we're doing all kinds of different related activities. And then next weekend is the Water Rocket Challenge, which is one of my Ooh. favorite events that we do all year. And that's actually included with Imagination Station admission. OK. All right, Sarah, appreciate that. You're one welcome. More, more fun with you guys. Coming up, time to upgrade to Windows 10. What you need to know when your day returns.